Hey guys, it's Winnegar here. Today I'll be looking at the community request from Battlefield 4. This information was collected from the Battlefield 3 subreddits, as well as from comments on my previous videos. I'll be tweeting this video out to Battlefield developers on Twitter and Facebook, so make sure to check that out if you agree with the points raised in this video. If you disagree or have any other ideas on Battlefield 4, drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. First up, here's one of the things I'd like to see in the multiplayer based on something I saw in the single player. In the single player footage, the scene where the player drives a civilian car and leans out with the M320, I don't know about you guys, but one of the first things I thought was that this would look absolutely sick in the multiplayer. Imagine for a second, you're riding shotgun with your buddy through fields, up ahead an enemy trooper is walking on foot, he hasn't seen you yet, you tap D or squeeze your left trigger lightly, propping open the door. A few seconds later you hear the sweet sound of bone and metal as you smash the guy's brains out against your car door. Boom, roadkill, 100 points pops up on the screen, suddenly an enemy havoc starts raining down fire on you from the left, you tap A or release the left trigger, closing the door and switching to your N320 or primary slash secondary weapons and pop out of the door by holding fully on the left trigger, or holding fully on D. Your body hits a sweet ramp sending you higher in the air above the havoc. You point it in the rough direction of the enemy heli and squeeze the trigger. Pop, boom, double kill. Let me know what you guys think about that, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this and how you think it would fit in the game. So the first thing we'll be looking at from the community feedback is the competitive. In the interview with Carl Magnus, he expressed interest in looking at the competitive scene for Battlefield 4, however he has mentioned that the competitive isn't just a case of dropping in certain stuff and instantly having a competitive hit. There are a lot of things that need to be taken into account when creating a competitive experience. Here are some of the top things that the community has requested in relation to competitive in Battlefield 4. Spectator, the ability to join a match as a spectator would allow for competitive matches to be hosted and streamed on sites like Switch TV and at gaming tournaments on the main screens. Battle Recorder. Battle Recorder would allow players to go back and visit their favourite Battlefield moments from any angle. Not only would it improve the quality of Battlefield content on YouTube, it makes the game more accessible to all players and ensures that a moment is never missed. Free Camera Free Camera is an alternative to Battle Recorder. If it's not feasible to implement a Battle Recorder in Battlefield 4, then a Free Camera would suffice. This could be a smooth flying drone camera that has a full 360 degree of rotation and modifiable movement speeds. Battle 3 of 3 modders have created a Free Cam so that the technology is in place for this, so it'll be interesting to see if it is. Um, something like this is put in Battlefield 4. Customizable options. Leave it up to the community to find the optimum settings for competitive tournaments by making a lot of settings available to the community, like suppressing lighting and weather effects and disabling vehicles and certain weapons for the competitive scene. They can produce their own set of rules for competitive matches and Battlefield can then apply these as a standard across the board. Voice over IP, or VoIP for short. VoIP was missing from PC and it was one of the most demanded features of Battlefield 4. Proximity VoIP when near enemies channels for squads and squad leaders, and if a commander is used, then a channel for the commander and squad leaders. Clan system. The ability to join and create clans in Battlefield 4. A clan would be made up of multiple platoons, and would be hosted on a dedicated clan server. It's a great way to meet new players, an essential part of many of the largest online games. So this would be really interesting to see in Battlefield 4, and I can definitely agree with having a system like this. Competitive matchmaking system. Esports style matchmaking system, where players can join in a group, for example 5v5 or 10v10, and lock into matches. This would be ranked and Battlefield could even look at having the best teams flown over at Sweden or USA to take part in competitive tournaments. Female Soldiers. Female Soldiers are a feature requested by the community. While it would be nice to see in the game, there are some issues that are associated with having them in the game. The main issue is that often games that feature female characters have a different proportion to the male characters and therefore are the obvious choices for players due to their smaller hitboxes. For competitive and indeed multiplayer to work, the females would need to be the same height and width as the males. As you can tell, the female portrayed in the campaign has a more feminine physique than a butch looking burly soldier that would be required in order to not mess with the balance of the game. Hitboxes. Hitboxes are used to track damage to the head, upper and lower chest, legs and arms of a player. Currently they can mess up in animations such as leaping over obstacles. This is something that would need to be fixed to improve the experience in Battlefield 4. Head glitching. Players can currently peek out over cover and fire, and the person fired upon can only see their head. In Battlefield 4 it would be nice to see this change somehow, so that it is the same from both players perspectives. Now we'll move on to the second topic which is mods. While mods are a hugely requested feature in Battlefield 4, the official mod tools are unavailable as DICE has stated before, that their engine is constantly in development and rather than produce another separate engine that is fully licensed for public use which would require a complete redevelopment of the current engine, it would make more sense to use their resources to improve them on the Frostbite engine, so unfortunately I don't think we'll be seeing any mods for Battlefield 4. Now onto the third topic which is the gameplay aspects. A lot of you guys wanted to see more game modes. Battlefield 3 featured new game modes such as Gun Game. A challenge invite called Dog Tag Hunter was shown in the single player footage of Battlefield 4, so there could possibly be a challenge game modes in multiplayer, or perhaps it is just a challenge that is issued to other players in the single player campaign. Titan mode would be awesome to see in Battlefield 4. Perhaps the target could be something like the enemy stronghold, for example, a skyscraper or a battleship that both teams are assaulting with the intent to blow it to smithereens. Training mode. 
A dedicated training mode like Battlefield 94.3 where you're able to fly helicopters, jets and use vehicles against AI in order to improve yourself. DICE have stated that they're creating a single player to be open and to have a multiplayer feel. Hopefully this means that they will add flyable jets, missions to allow players to train. I agree that this would be a great feature to have as I myself want to be able to get used to controls and to not have my helicopter upside down hurtling towards the ground in the first 10 seconds of flight because of inexperienced players. Naval combat. Attack ships, rib boats and jet skis have been confirmed. No announcements yet on submarines, it would be cool to see some in the multiplayer. However, you won't find out more information in the multiplayer until most likely at E3. Knee slides. The ability to go from a full sprint and then pressing crouch to go into a knee slide would be really preferred by a lot of players as it would allow you to do a smooth transition into aiming down your sights. Diving underwater. As you guys saw from the single player footage, the player dives into water at one point. Hopefully this makes its way into the multiplayer, as I know myself that I've been stranded out in the middle of water multiple times um, due to a teammate's crashed Huey in the water, or for example my own um, noobish behaviour. So yeah, I really think that diving underwater would be a cool feature to add. Not only would it look visually stunning to be able to see the tracer rounds from an enemy jet firing through the water when they're trying to hit you, but also the ability to hide from being spotted by diving underneath water would be really really cool to see. End round cinematics. This was a feature that was prominent throughout Battlefield Bad Company and I know a lot of guys were disappointed that Battlefield 3 didn't have this in, but it would be really cool to see this return in Battlefield 4 as there's nothing quite like seeing your enemies absolutely destroyed for example by jets or blowing the dam up with C4 from Bad Company was a really cool feature. I'd like to see things like blowing up a huge building complex or for example um, successfully defending it and firing down on the enemies who are retreating. That'd be really cool to see in Battlefield 4. Destruction. The ability to destroy one side of a building and have it fall in that direction. For example north, south, east and west. Could be used to block roads and cross vehicles as well as slightly modify the paths that players have to take throughout the map. Commander Mode. Commander Mode from Battlefield 2 is one of the larger requested features. Fans of the older Battlefield games really enjoyed being able to command various aspects of the game such as spotting, supply drops and UAV surveillance. Two of these functions have already been fulfilled by the normal classes in Battlefield 3 such as spotting and UAV drones by the recon class. All that would be left for a commander would be to drop supplies. It will be interesting to see if commander mode is included in Battlefield 4 and how DICE plan on making this a unique feature to use. Optimized suppression. If you're hit, you should be suppressed more than when a player misses you. Suppression should not increase spread when aiming down sights and only increase recoil and hip fire spread, possibly only applying to high caliber weapons. There should also be a server option to disable suppression without making the server unranked so that Battlefield can really get an idea of which option that players prefer. Unique gadgets, it'll be really interesting to see what unique gadgets Battlefield bring to the game. As you guys remember, they brought the Mav and the EOD bot, and also the Soflam to uh, Battlefield 3, which was really cool. Some of the things that were suggested by players were special forces style ropes, grappling hooks, flashbangs, vehicles, and rappel lines. Spotting. Currently in Battlefield 3, you're able to spot players through smoke. Hopefully that will be fixed for Battlefield 4, which will really open the game up to some uh, tactical gameplay using smoke for cover, and also destroying buildings and using the dust that builds up to use for cover. Spawning. Players should be able to spawn on players in combat. There should be no spawn protection for players spawning outside of uncapped zones, as they are given a perfectly good third-person camera to use to see if the area is safe or not to spawn in. Currently in Battlefield 3, when spawning on a squad mate, you're invincible for a few seconds until you move or shoot. From the attacker's perspective, you absorb all of his bullets, and this really disconnects the player from the game and also ruins many good killing sprees. Two-seater jets, a lot of you guys suggested that Battlefield bring back two-seater jets, with the first player flying and the second player able to launch air ground missiles and potentially drop bombs. This would be really cool to see in Battlefield 4, as I know there was nothing more awesome than in Battlefield 2 and in 1943 when I played that on the Xbox, then dropping bombs on enemies. So yeah, I really look forward to seeing this. Hopefully it'll be implemented in Battlefield 4. The next thing I want to go on to is the jet ejector control. This is a huge problem on um, consoles. To resolve the issue, many players face in dogfighting of enemies bailing out from their jets before you have time to finish them off. It would be good to have an ejecting animation in the game, or perhaps when a player spawns in a jet, to give them a pilot outfit with a pistol, so that the players don't just instantly bail out every time the moment the jet's set on fire. I know this is a pr big problem on consoles using the, the uh, pads, because a lot of the time players are able to get away and just, they'll just bail straight out of the jet basically and you'll never get a chance to shoot them down. Stealing enemy vehicles from uncap. Vehicles are locked in the uncap so players cannot steal them unless an enemy has gotten inside. You see people basically flying their jets over to the enemy bases, bailing out and then stealing the enemy jets so that your team ends up with four jets in the sky and the enemies don't. This is really really annoying especially for 64 player servers where the jets are one of the most like key elements in, in a, uh, securing the battlefield for your team. Corp elements, it would be interesting to see things such as mortaring and pairs so you can mortar faster in Battlefield 4 put into the game. This was suggested on the subreddit, so I'd love to hear some more ideas that you guys have for sort of corp elements that you could work together on. More drivable vehicles, Battlefield 3 and 64 player doesn't have enough drivable vehicles. 
Often a lot of players are left running from the uncapped zone at the beginning, it would be interesting to see more vehicles such as civilian cars and bikes, like the ones shown in single player, and also maybe adding some extra slots on the jeeps, for example hanging on the back or riding on the top, um, just so that you're able to go along with your squad and uh, the other members of the team for that initial push which is usually the most dramatic when both teams finally meet and they centre flags. Map diversity, multiple paths for example, what we saw in the endgame, where you could blow down doors to take shortcuts, and perhaps alternative routes for the rush. You could potentially have the jets spawning from a cloud layer so that players are unable to spawn camp the enemy carriers for example and repeatedly destroy the jets before the players get a chance to take off. Now we'll move on to the community request for effects. The community would really like to see in the multiplayer weather effects, night and day cycles, removed blue tint if it's planned on being put in the game. I know a lot of the community do not like the blue tint that's in Battlefield 3 and would love an option to at least to be able to turn that off if it was included in Battlefield 4. The um, sun glare, this would basically work on night and day cycles. From what I've seen in the Battlefield single player, sun glare is better than it was in Battlefield 3, it's not as blinding. And hopefully if they include night and day cycles, you'll also have the option on servers to basically change it to a time of day where it's fair for both teams. Character customization, character customization of the face and for example helmet colour would be really cool to see. Or perhaps your own unique badge that you can wear for your clan. It would be cool if the weather affects vehicle handling, for example slippery when wet. So if it's been raining, the vehicles slide around a lot more on the concrete surfaces. Server filters, it would be good to have a more detailed server filter, for example of a server's ticket percentage, so we'd know before joining that you were in a 1000 ticket server. The same applies to servers with fast or instant vehicle respawn. Better auto balancing in terms of squads, anyone with the same clan tag stays in a squad, and teams are balanced based on KD and accuracy. Vanilla saying to play servers that don't have any gameplay tweaks, so that you're able to play the game how DICE intended you to play it, and not with anything such as extra tickets or changed vehicle respawns or unallowed weapons on the servers. Separate chat for server announcements. At the moment the chat is often spammed out with server announcements. These could be directed to a different location on the screen with the option to hide them. And finally we've got single player. Customization, pre-mission, the ability to swap out and customize weapons in single player. I agree that this would be a cool feature in Battlefield. It was seen in Battlefield Bad Company 2 with the weapon crates where you could swap out your guns and since they're catering the game to be a lot like Battlefield Bad Company 2 in terms of openness I'm sure we will see weapon unlocks and attachments in single player. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions or comments or ideas, or you disagree with anything that I've said, I'm open for discussion, so you can go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. Yeah, so thanks a lot to my subscribers and the subreddit Battlefield 3 for all of the feedback that they've given. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.